Good morning, Asia. Welcome to Privateer FX, Asia Preview, North American Wrap. We had a, uh, a UK holiday, so the, the, over the uh, European session was fairly quiet. We had some decent data out of uh, Germany. Their IFO surprised the upside, beat by two points. It kind of lent a bid to the euro. Um, the big news was the US and Mexico reaching a trade agreement, uh, bilateral. It's putting some pressure on Canada. Uh, Freeland from Canada will be uh, uh, arriving in the in the DC tomorrow, I believe. So they'll start their talks. Uh, Mexican peso, the strongest uh, currency, best performer in the EM space, and uh, Canadian dollar rallied uh, as well ex on expectations of these uh, upcoming talks between the U.S. and Canada. Uh, but our uh, Yesterday, we spoke about uh, looking for further dollar weakness, uh, this corrective, um, this correction in this in this dollar bull. Uh, looks like it's gaining a little bit of steam. Here's the dollar index. I, you see this horizontal dash line. Uh, this was the key closing support for me, uh, below 94.90, 95, the figure. We closed down here today at 94.74. Uh, obviously, the biggest component is the euro dollar. And uh, we've got a moving average up here, comes in at 11760, uh, which is, you know, fairly, very good confluence with this 11750 area. So 11750 to 60 uh, looks like the target for this before we see any kind of pullback in the euro. Uh, British pound, you know, had a nice day. New Zealand dollar, uh, this one's been on our radar for a bit. And uh, it's getting very close. There could be some action here in, uh, in your session. We're watching this area here at 67.20. It was, uh, you know, kind of three, four, five, six, seven, call it, you know, seven daily lows, some old low closes. And then <clears throat> the spike high that we had um, last week got up to 67.20. So th this is a break trade to the top side. We don't see any. If it does break cleanly, and the market is very, is very, very short on the positioning, um, I could see this getting up to 68.50, even up to so yeah, 68.60s old highs, even the 100-day up at 69. The figure. Um, you know, some of the analysts we've been talking to today, uh, and they, they, the dollar, like I said, the dollar bears are, are definitely in control. 11791 in the euro dollar is a big is a big area um, that some of the technicians are looking at right here this old high um, you know if we start getting above there then it's this thing could get all the way back to 120 uh, in the meantime I think we're kind of going to be playing this maybe 115 117 range let's take a look at dollar max um, which uh, the Mexican peso is the best performer. Uh, although we did, it was a bit of buy the rumor, sell the fact. Um, we were expecting a, a deal out of Mexico and the U.S. today. It got down to 1860. Key support there on the closing basis is this 1841, and the low closes we got a low a low daily close at 1845. Um, so I'd be watching for some, you know, decent support down here. And uh, actually, I think it's probably good value, another 30 big figures lower. Oh, Turkey is up about a couple percent today. It did rally. It was up 5% at one point. Yen crosses, you know, the yen itself isn't doing a whole lot. Let's see what the daily chart looks like. We had that kind of topping pattern here, followed with a, a down day in, uh, in our session in our Monday session. Um, again, that's not really one that we're too interested in. If you're going to express dollar bearishness, I think you're better off expressing it via a long Kiwi, uh, you know, Euro, long Euro, or, you know, a few analysts came out today and they put out some um, dollar Swiss, sell dollar Swiss. Um, and that is mainly on positioning. I guess there's about two yards of really stale positioning that are now maybe a big figure or so out of the money, um, which happens to coincide with the 
100 day moving average up here. So you see, you know, we had the big run up, big run up, and then it kind of went sideways. But on the on the CFTC positioning, the speculators were continuing to add to their Swiss shorts. And uh, you can see how it's struggled. And we haven't been been sideways to lower over the past month, month and a half. Um, so this one is vulnerable. Uh, the 200 day moving average is 97.50. Um, we had an old breakout here at 97.10. Uh, what else do we have down here? These daily lows right here, which we matched today, that looks pretty important to me. Comes in at 97. Uh, 97.88 was that low, and now we got another one here. Today's low is 87. We're just just uh, just above trading just above there now so just to wrap things up um, we're thinking some more dollar selling and we're keeping an eye on China because that seems to be leading dollar China actually had a quiet day during New York that seems to be leading you know the other dollars so um, that should do that should do it uh, not much data coming up kind of a quiet week and we do have the US holiday next Monday which means Friday and Monday will most most players will be back to the beach for their last uh, last summer holiday weekend uh, good luck trading and we'll speak to you uh, on the European Open cheers